Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a first impressions and testing out the new Sigma Untamed palette. Now typically I'm not like jumping on Sigma palettes. I actually don't own one except this one now, but this one just really screamed fall to me and I'm pretty excited to get started. I mean, look at those colors. They're so pretty and they're very, very fall. But before we get into it, if you are new here, hello, I'm M-E-G or Emily, whatever you want to call me. And I do a lot of beauty related content on my channel and I will soon be diving into some fashion content that should be coming either this week or next week. I have a lot of videos filmed, so I'm trying to like schedule out when they're gonna go up. Anyways, if you are into beauty or fashion content, go ahead and click the subscribe button and ring the bell notification so you know if I wanna upload new content. Also, if you hear thunder in the background, see lightning, things of that nature, it is storming here and it has been storming all day. Sorry if there's thunder or lightning or anything of that nature, but I am excited to get into the palette. Also, I just have to say the packaging, I do really like it. It's got like the velvet texture here with the zebra stripe and they did the same thing on the outer box, which I was like, wow, that's fancy right there. All right, guys, I am moved in closer to the camera. My hair is up and pulled back. Don't mind how bad my skin looks right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what her problem is, but she's not having a good day. So I didn't do, obviously, my base or my foundation or anything first. I have decided I'm gonna do my eyes first. I've been doing my eyes first a lot lately. That's typically what I do first or my brows. I'm just gonna go straight into the palette. And I am going to do some swatches. I don't know if I'm going to swatch all of them just because I don't feel like it and I'm not good at swatches. So, but it has the little like Sigma Untamed paper on the inside. Then we've got our mirror and our eyeshadows and we do get a brush. So Sigma brushes are supposed to be really nice. Now, I don't know if this is like their normal brushes or if this is like some like cheaper version of their brushes because Sigma brushes, I mean, they can, they're not like super expensive, but some of them can be pricey. We do get a brush. So one side is the E38 diffuser crease brush and the other side is the E54 medium sweeper brush. So I am going to try to use this brush since it's in the palette. Let's go ahead and we'll swatch a few of these shades. Okay, so here are the swatches that I did. So this is Dauntless. This is more of like a glittery type shade. And then this one is Moxie. This is more of a shimmery shade. Right here I have Wicked, which is a matte black. Then we have Spirit, which is really, really sparkly. And then I also have Feral, which is another matte brown shade. Those are the shades I chose to swatch. I don't really feel like swatching all of them, like I said. So let's just go ahead and dive right into the palette. I'm wearing a white shirt with some red on it. So I want to have, I think, like a warmer look, although I definitely want to incorporate the green. We're going to use this crease brush side, and I am going to go into Feral, I think. I already have eye primer on, by the way. So Feral is this lighter orange matte brown shade. I'm going to tap that off and just start... Putting it into the crease. Okay, the brush seems pretty decent. Maybe these are their actual brushes. Putting this in the crease and laying it down. I'm trying to decide what kind of look I want to go for. I literally don't think I've ever had a plan going into any eyeshadow look ever. Now I'm gonna go into, I think we're gonna go into Boho, which is like this mustardy yellow color. That is a color that I really enjoy. I am a big fan of mustard. Did you guys hear that? Like, oh my. It's literally shaking the whole house. All right, so I'm just gonna put, like I said, Boho into the crease as well. And I'm actually just gonna try to use this brush because there are definitely people who will buy this palette and just pretty much use this brush. All right, so I just put that on the outer portion and blend it into the crease. Do the same thing to this eye. I think I'm gonna go into Envy, which is this shimmery green shade. I'm gonna use the other side of the brush and I'm just gonna lay this across most of our lid. And I wanna see how this does just trying to use a brush and not my finger to lay it down. I really, really like that green shade. I have to say, like, it laid down pretty nicely. Also, I am starting to realize how biased I am with uh, green and yellow color combinations. I think I want to put just a tiny bit of, like, a red color, maybe. I think I want to use a little bit of Rebel, which is a matte red shade. I'm going to pick it up with that little brush again, and I'm just going to put a little bit of it 
at the outer portion where the green is and just kind of like lightly put it on there and just blend it like this to add a little bit more of like a fall crispy leaf vibe you know okay now i'm gonna take that brush and just kind of blend okay guys now i'm gonna go into loyal which is a light matte brown shade ah uh, you can see me i don't like that just really lightly just put the edge of my brush and i'm gonna tap that in like i said to loyal and this is gonna go just at the outer portion on the bottom of my eye and i'm just gonna again put this at the outer corner and you can see me doing that and then i'm gonna take the fluffy part and i'm just going to blend it in a little bit more to the top of the eye just very very subtle i'm also gonna put another color here but i just wanted to real quickly lay that down next what i'm gonna do is go into dauntless which is that blue shimmery shade and this is gonna go underneath the inner portion of my eye in my waterline and i'm just again doing the edge of this little brush and since i'm doing my eyes first if i do mess up i can easily put concealer underneath to make the edges a little bit more like where i want it to start and end okay i'm going to take this other side real quickly and just try to blend it out a little bit okay next i'm going to do is take the crease brush and i'm actually going to go into docile which is an extremely light matte like white beige shade which probably matches my skin tone and i'm just going to use this at the edge of the eye look to just diffuse anything that might be a little out of place okay and lastly i'm going to take this brush and we're going to go into spirit which is that shimmery shade next to docile and we're going to inner corner and brow bone highlight so let's just go ahead and do that i always like to just pull it up a little bit onto the eyelid when i do this and underneath the brow bone all right guys so this is probably going to be like my final eye look and then i'm going to do like the base of my face i have some concealer i'm going to be testing out but here are the eyes so far here is the tops of the lids here is the underneath part and yeah be right back and put on the base of my face do my brows stuff like that and then we'll be back probably with final thoughts i might pop back in with like some concealer that i'm testing out i think that's all i'm testing out today though other than the eyeshadow palettes i'll be right back all right guys i am back and this is the finished look real quick let's get real close with the eyes and then i'll tell you what i did with the rest of my eyes and my lips okay guys so this is the final eye look i'm pretty happy with how this turned out i think it's very fallish and that's what i wanted and i also wanted it to go with my shirt and i think it does but as you can see this is what the top of the eyelid looks like and this is what our underneath part looks like i think that the fall colors really came together for this look and I'm fairly happy with it. So my final thoughts with the Sigma palette based on my first impression were that they're very blendable and this is a super easy to work with palette. I mean I wasn't sure what to expect like I said I have never used Sigma's eyeshadows before but the palette blended really easily. I think the colors are very pigmented. They're very very fall. If you really are looking for like a nice fall palette I definitely think this color story is great. Now of course if these aren't colors you're going to grab for don't get it but I think the color story is wonderful the brush worked out really really well I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like their actual brushes or if it was gonna be like a an eh brush because most of the time palettes when they come with brushes the brushes suck I didn't have high expectations for the brush but it worked out pretty well and like I said the shadows blendable pigmented worked super easily I think this is a really user-friendly palette so I think no matter like your skill level you could probably use this palette it was just really easy to work with and I'm super happy with the final look in case you're wondering what else I used on my eyes, I did use the Laura Geller eyeliner that I got in my Ipsy Plus, and that was like a bronze eyeliner. I also used the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, and on my lips, I do have on the KVD Vegan Beauty Stud Lipstick in the shade Prayer. This is actually one of my favorite lipstick formulas, so I'm really happy that Kat Von D left because I wasn't buying uh, any of their products. Now that she left, I'm happy because I feel like I can buy this again because this is truly one of my favorite lipstick formulas formulas and I really really enjoy it. So my final thoughts on the palette. It's a great palette. User friendly. If you are a pro or if you are someone who's more newer to makeup I think this is a great palette. The brush is really great so if you are someone who's more new to makeup I think you can use that brush for you know these eyeshadows and other eyeshadows. It seems to blend really really well. I only use that brush to create this eye look. It just shows that you really don't need a ton of brushes to make a really great eye look. That is all for today. I would love to hear all your thoughts and opinions about the palette down the 
comments below whether you're going to pick it up, whether you're going to pass on it. Have you tried Sigma palettes before? I would love to hear all your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you're into beauty related content. And like I mentioned before, some fashion content will be coming soon to the channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that if you're interested. Again, that's all for today, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good one. Bye, guys.